Hello everyone, welcome to Read Advice. Today, we're reviewing our first horror film for October and it is the Italian film The Binding or Il Legame. The film is now available on Netflix and please pardon me if I'm going to mispronounce a lot of Italian names. In the film, Francesco, played by Ricardo Scamarchio, and Emma, played by Mia Maestro, are ready to take their relationship to the next level and decide to visit Francesco's mother in the south of Italy. With them is Emma's young daughter, Sofia, played by Giulia Patrignani. As soon as they arrive, Sofia and Emma experience weird phenomena. And when a tarantula bites Sofia, they discover that a malevolent and powerful entity was at fault and has binded with Sofia. The only way to survive is to fight the entity head on. Now before we start with our review on the binding, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button. You can also give a like, share this video, or leave a comment to show your support to our channel. Even with its outstanding technical work, the Italian horror film The Binding failed to be anything but visually impressive. The experience was mostly a dud as it lacked interesting characters coupled with a sorely missing scare factor. The very thought that came to our minds while watching The Binding is how many times have we seen a film like this before? It's a pretty generic affair if we're being blunt and worse, there's really no main antagonist that we could latch onto and hang onto in the narrative. The film decided to play mind games with the audience and by keeping everything vague and doubtful, you'll be second guessing who is actually telling the truth most of the time. Which could have worked actually, but crucially the writers also forgot to put in any chills and scares in between. By the time the real villain was unveiled, it was a little bit too late. The whole experience was already a snorefest, and any scares failed to make any significant impact. Additionally, the characters were mostly paper thin, developed sparingly and written without much care or thought. The characters will make unreasonable decisions time and time again, and we never found ourselves caring whatever happens to them. Maybe except for the character of Sophia. The only saving grace for the binding was its top-notch technical work. The sets looked amazing, conveying grandeur and dilapidation at the same time, and provided a suitable set piece. The cinematography was outstanding, but surprisingly failed to add much atmosphere. Unfortunately, the film lacked any character or heart. It's a generic experience that didn't bring any emotion into the table. It's not the worst horror film on Netflix, but it is also barely acceptable. Our rating for The Binding is 2.5 reels out of 5. If you've reached this point, thank you for watching on our review on The Binding. We hope you liked it and please don't forget to hit that subscribe button.